This is a $100,000 movable home and we're going to be living inside it for the next 24 hours. Can you imagine? I'm inside the car and I'm cooking. Across the world, there are people called digital nomads who have chosen to sell off all their belongings to live their days inside the van. There's a ton of people out there that are doing it full time. As a curious person, I've always wondered if this was possible in West Africa and what this would look like. So I set out to answer these questions. Throughout this experience, I plan on surviving by hunting and cooking my own food. I got one. Making my own fire to warm myself. This is not working. <coughs> and crossing over one of the biggest lakes in my city, Lagos, with a tiny inflatable boat. Bring it! So we are almost at our location. This is nice. What do you think? So the, dope, the screen is so bright. See the community. We are at the village, yeah. So this is the spot we wanna stop by tonight. Uh, let me just park here like this. We are here! Let's go! Before we begin our adventure, let me show you guys some interesting features of this van, starting with the exterior. So guys, this is a 2006 Ford Hurricane. So this roof extends out here. You can have seats here. If you're camping, this is the propane gas. This is just extra storage area. This is the water heater here. This is the bedroom. There are some parts of this RV that actually extends outwards. Because of how big this is, it has a back camera. Here is the outdoor shower. Maybe you're somebody who just likes to shower outside. You can shower outside with this one here. Here's the fuel tank. This is the storage for the waste disposal. Let's walk inside now. Let me show you guys some of what is inside this RV. We're currently inside a movable home. So this side is kind of like the living area. We have the kitchen on this side and we have the dining on this side. This is the fridge by the way. And then this is the driver's seat. It has an automatic drive system, so you're not doing manual. And on this side, you have a lot of storage space to keep stuff. Kind of like the same way you have shelves in your house. This is the kitchen area here. Then this is the gas cooker and an air extractor. Also comes with a microwave. It also comes with an oven trash can for keeping the stuff you're not using. And there's still more storage space here. Let's walk to the fridge. We have biscuits. Ah, well, I mean, it's not the biscuits. We had like 20 when we came in. Me. So you finished those biscuits. <laughs> Up here is the freezer. Look at this bottle of flying fish. Super cold. So now we're done with the living room area. Let me show you another exciting feature of this RV, which is the toilet. Let me drop my drink for a bit. Ooh. This is what the toilet in an RV looks like. Every time I open the tap, there's a pump that is automatically activated. And that's where all this water is coming from. You can get hot water, you can get cold water. And now this is the shower. Guys, check this out. So you see, they've made more headroom here because you know they are going to be tall people like me. And it has like a sunroof. There's also an air extractor here. It sucks up all the air inside here and everything goes outside. Yeah. This is another way to actually go into the room. There's a door on this side, but let's use the main one. Before we continue, I would love to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is a company called Odo. I'm a firm believer in leveraging the tools that the internet offers to build and scale up your business. And one of the things that has helped me so far in building my personal brand and this platform is owning a website. The only problem was when I was building it, I had a lot of issues because I didn't know how to code and it was very difficult. Odo solves all of this and makes it easier for you to launch a website in a couple of minutes. Odo is an all-in-one open source software that offers a range of applications for sales, marketing, accounting, inventory, and a lot more. One of the great things I love about this website builder is that it's very fast and can easily be set up in a few clicks. A simple drag and drop interface means no extra skills are required. For example, I can start an RV rental website with a few simple clicks. Select a background picture, select my domain name, input my prices, and I'm good to go. The best part is that it's free with hosting and support included, plus a custom domain name for one year. So to get started using the website builder, hit the link in the description. Now let's jump right back into the video. Are you guys ready? Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is stealing my drink. Why are you stealing my drink, bro? This is the bedroom on this side. It's actually big. Are you guys jump? Ooh. So many activities can be done on top of this bed. It's very <laughs> bouncy. <laughs> There's also double windows here. Extra storage space here. They made this one bigger so you can keep your suitcase inside it. Well, obviously, don't bring big suitcase. Why are you bringing big suitcase to the woods? There's also a wardrobe with mirrors. And do your makeup. You always have to be fresh. It's 2023. Always be fresh. There's so much storage space. And then this is also the AC unit. And the AC gets really cold. So let's head outside. Yeah. 
It was noon and I was getting very hungry. To survive all the coming challenges, I knew I needed to find food. Close to us was a lake. The only problem is we have no fishing equipment. Eventually, some kids from the nearby village came to help us with some local fishing equipment. These kids that I was with, they just told me about fishing activity. Let's see if I'm going to be able to catch any fish. How are you? Guys, check this out. This is a ball of cassava and red dog. So how do you do it? Show me. So this is my stick and it has a hook on top. You can see the hook here. What I'm meant to do, take this. Let's roll a little bit of it. And then. It's too big. I'm learning from the community. This looks like a very nice spot. There's no fish here. Since we are failing at our mission. After trying unsuccessfully to get some fish from the river with our makeshift hooks and baits, these young kids told me of another spot where we can easily catch some fish. We failed in our mission here, so we are trying to look for another spot. So we're going further into the village now. These are boats that have been made to go into the water. We'll go walk, Smabi. No, not yet. Not yet, we'll go stay see fish. Yes. Really? This is our tire and fishes, so we just roll it. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Off target. Let me walk, let me come inside. Yeah. Oh, it's not far enough. Oh, okay, I can see fish. Yeah. So the fishes, they are taking it, but they are taking the bait. They are not eating it. Damn, see them. See them. We called in for reinforcement. Since our small fishing rod was not working, now I want to use the big one. This is a fishing net. Ooh. Take that, fishes. We're gonna catch you. Yo! Woo. Oh, wow. Oh, we got fish. Ooh. Guys, we finally got something to eat. Thanks to him. <laughs> oh, so, this is a fish, fish like this. Ah! I got one. Let me leave this one back. Let it go back to his family. We love you. We love you. Oh, it's gone. Oops. In every movie you watch that has to do with staying in the forest, they always usually start a fire to scare away animals. I need to light a bonfire to keep all the animals away from me at night. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is one. I was looking at that place. Looks like they have a lot of wood, but it looks too dark. I don't think I want to go in there. We need a couple leaves to start the fire. This is what living in the woods looks like. I also there are no snakes. Ah. Okay. Oh, well, that was quick. I celebrated too fast. After trying repeatedly to make this work and the fire kept going out. This is not working. I had almost given up when a lady and some kids from the village came to the rescue. She's helping with the fire. Please find the fire. Guys, I think one of the best things about coming out here and being here is the fact that you get to connect with people. Apart from that, you get to be away from like your phone and social media and you're just in nature, immersed. So what you want to do when you go? What you, what you want to be? Governor. Governor of Lagos State. Wow. That's cool actually. Mm -hmm. I can't remember when last I did this. A very long time. When last did you do this? Music? On fire. Yeah, when last did you do long ass time. And how does it feel to be here? It feels good, you know. Interacting with these young lads, they, they inspire me. You say you want to, you want, you want to see what it looks like inside. Yes. Let me show you. It's like inside. Let's go. This is what they call a house on wheels. There's a toilet here too. Yeah. <laughs> shower. Do, do, do. Shower. So we will see. What country in the world would you want to go to? I like to go to USA. <sighs> it's been a long day. I want to see if I can order an Uber from where I am. This is a body of water here, and we're just by the edge of the lake. 
Let me just say I'm going to Lucky. No vehicles available at this point in time. That's usually how remote this place is. Super hungry. Let me see if we can get pizza around here. If we can't get pizza, maybe we can get something else to eat. There's almost no restaurant available on the map. I guess that's why if you're in a motor home, you need to buy your food and ready to cook. A lot of people on this channel don't know that I'm a cordon blue chef. This is gonna be my first time cooking in a very cool. Yes. You know the chop? This man. Yeah, you never bring the egg down. I could bring it for you. This guy. Mm. My bountiful plates. What do you think about my food? I don't like it. You don't like my food? It's nice or what? It's nice but anything said after the word but does not count. What do you mean? After cooking for this guy. It's been a long day. It is time to go to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. Just woke up. I'm gonna make some tea. Oh, you're yeah. your nice now. This is usually the time where lots of the people from the village go out to fish. This is a fisherman's hut. These are the nets that they used to catch fish in the morning and these are all their kennels. These are the activities that you can engage in if you're outside in nature and if you have the privilege of having a hundred thousand dollar movable home. My next activity was to try crossing this massive lake to the other side. The Ekpe Lake is at least 300 to 500 meters across and I believe I had the perfect equipment for that. One of the cool activities I always wanted to try out was kayaking. To get on the water we need a kayak. Now we need to pump this whole thing up. It's gonna be a lot of work. <laughs> Man, heading to the lake now. We are about to go into the deep end. I'm going in. Video. Sorry, sorry. After spending some time on the lake, feeling the strength of the current and testing the buoyancy of the boat, I realized I didn't have proper safety equipment and I decided it wasn't safe to ride across. So the next thing I did was to just kayak in this tiny section in front of the village. Such a fun activity to do. I didn't know I was going to have this much fun on a movable home. It's been so long I've been on a kayak and this was an exciting experience. What's the village life like here? The life on this place is different from uh, Lagos. Some of us here, we have a house outside. Okay. But we are using this place for our business. So which work do they do like this? For food, oh, business. Oh, okay. Aku, correct aku. aku. <laughs> is there electricity here? No, there is nothing like that. As kids, we have so many ideas of things we want to do and adventures we want to go on with our family and friends. But as we get older, we tend to fall into patterns of sameness and repetition, leaving all those amazing ideas behind. Living in a movable home was one of those ideas and it forced me to be in the present and be more aware of my surroundings. From hanging out with the villagers who give us so much love even though they had so little, to trying to catch my own food for the very first time, I keep learning that life can be really amazing the moment you decide to leave your comfort zone and venture out into the unknown. You just need to take the first step. The memories of this experience will definitely stay with me for a long time and I plan on coming back here in the future to create a better story about this amazing community that I discovered. Till then, stay curious. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.